This is Dr. John Tantillo asking, did you know that? If you've ever worked in an office, I guarantee you owe a small thanks to the creativity of one Arthur Fry. Fry was born in Minnesota in 1931. He was educated in a rural one-room schoolhouse and built toboggans out of scrap lumber for those long, cold winters. Later, Fry, an engineer, joined the Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing Company. His job, finding new uses for their many chemicals. This meant connecting the dots between things that seem to have no connection. Fry sang in a church choir and used strips of paper to mark the songs in his hymnal. But the paper would often fall out, and he be lost. One day, he remembered a lecture given by colleague Spencer Silva about the unique properties of a glue Silva had invented. The glue was strong enough to make things cling, but the bond was not permanent. Fry wondered, what if he could coat this glue on part of a piece of paper and make a bookmark that would stick but also be easily removed without damaging the pages. It took several years for Fry to hammer out the concept and a few more to get his bosses to realize that they had something saleable. But he did, and when he did, the product quickly became a legend. Today, Fry's bookmark is sold in 100 countries. You know it as the post-it note. And now you can say, yes, I know that.